You may recall when I unboxed this bike, there was a big hole in the side of the box and something had clearly pressed against it that warped the front rim. I contacted Huffy. They were kind enough to send a replacement rim. As a matter of fact, they sent two. They got them about three days later. The reason they sent two is because they were out of stock on the factory black rim. That means they sent me two silver ones so I'd have a matching set. Now obviously, that messes with the aesthetic of what is, even for 59 bucks, a really cool looking bike. This thing looks great. Not so much with a silver rim. I think it kind of takes away from it. But hey, at least I got a replacement rim and they sent it quick. Let's cover a couple of good things first. A, it looks really good. B, the new front rim is true. It's a very straight rim. So, get a good rim out of the deal. Next is the saddle. It not only looks good, it's actually very comfortable. I was impressed riding this bike around the neighborhood how well the saddle felt on a $59 bike. Okay, now on to the bad stuff. And now I'm going to preface all this by saying you may get a good one of these. So if you can score one that works out of the box for $59, hey, great, go for it. But at least for me, for what I received, now remember the warped rim, I discount that as not being part of the bike's fault. That was in shipping damage. But this is the bike. On the crank set here, two and three, don't think you can really see this well, but the second and third gear on this crank set are actually warped. They wobble in and out. And what that means is when you're trying to shift, it may shift well one time, then the next time you go to shift, if it's on a wobble point where it's bent in, or bent out rather, you won't be able to shift. So at random, you can't hit two or three. That's problem number one. And again, I don't know how well this is gonna show up, but I think you can kind of make it out. If you look in this area, you'll see that this cassette is warped. It's not loose, it's warped. Can you see that bend there? So what that means, and it's, it's on both ends, it's on this end and on that end, so what that means is that when you're shifting, you can never get this adjusted perfectly to work on all the gears. It may work out one time and then you'll, next time you go to shift, you're at this warped point and it just won't shift. So that means that both sets of gears aren't consistent. Many... Finally, the full suspension. We all knew this was gonna be a joke. I mean, it's just what you get on these cheap little bikes. But this one's especially bad. I weigh 172 pounds. And just in standard pedaling in a low gear, I was bouncing up and down like crazy with this thing. And it's pretty much almost at its max adjustment. I tried to adjust it even tighter. Couldn't get this to budge. I don't know if it's they put it on with the paint wet or what, but it will not move. And also, I didn't have any problems with this, but if you look on the Walmart website, you'll see multiple pictures where the frame is bent here. And that was what I suspected was going to happen, but I never experienced that. I rode this off of some hills down onto curbs. Matter of fact, I rode it over many curbs while I was sitting down on it. So all my weight coming down here, it never bent. So I didn't have any problems with that. So maybe it was larger riders or just the luck of a draw. Maybe they got some bad welds, whatever. But I do know that this rear suspension is a joke. Also, every time I move this bike, more paint comes off. And I can't ever find where it's coming from. This thing's flaking off paint like crazy. So that brings me to the dilemma point with this bike. You know, you get that $59 bike that looks cool and you hope that it'll just work, just to pedal around the neighborhood on. Well, obviously this one isn't gonna do that. It has issues shifting. I'm bouncing around like a monkey on a trampoline when I pedal on this thing. And it's Frankenstein together with this different color front rim. But again, I only paid 59 bucks. I would swap it, if they had them in stock, I would swap it out for another one and hope that I get one that works. Then I'd be happy for $59. But as it is, I don't know what to do. I think I may just hang on to this for a few weeks and hope that Walmart gets them back in stock. And if not, I guess I could always return it. But that's it for right now on the Huffy Rock Creek. Maybe I'll do a follow-up once I've made my decision or hopefully when they get them back in stock. Thanks for watching and have a great day. For those that were worried about my cable routing, you'll see once I get it into writing configuration, it's a good rim on it, cables are properly routed. As a matter of fact, if this would have worked out, had these zip tied properly.